The first topic of Unit 2 is the rate equation. But first we must ask ourselves, what is the rate of reaction? The rate of reaction is the rate at which reactants are turned into products. The equation for this is the change in concentration over time, because when, obviously when reactants turn into products, the concentration of reactants decreases and the concentration of products increase. Over to put this over the time taken, then you get the rate. For any given equation, there is a unique rate equation. Taking this as a general equation, A plus B goes to products, we can derive the rate equation as follows. Rate equals K, which is the rate constant, times by the concentration of A raised to the order with respect to A, which is M, times by the concentration of B with, raised to the order with respect to B, which will enable N. The aforementioned orders with respect to the reactants are a concept I will explain shortly. However, on the topic of order of reaction, M plus N equals the total order of a new reaction, which will become important later on. Finally, the units of the rate constant K change depending on the order of reaction, i.e. M plus N. A possible question you might be asked to do in an exam is to work out the value of K given rate, the values of A and B, and the values of M and M. And simply by substituting these values in, you will get the value of K. In addition to this question, you might be asked on the end of this question, or as a question on its own, to work out the units of K. Um, I'll explain this through a worked example. Taking the order with respect to A as 2 and the order with respect to B as 1, the simplest way to do this is to substitute in the units of these values. I've done it here by substituting the, the units of rate in as mol moles per dm cubed s to the minus 1, all over A, A and B, which all have the units moles per decimeter cubed. So we can cancel out the moles dm cubed from the top with one of the moles dm cubed from the bottom, leaving you with seconds to the minus one over two moles dm cubed. So this gives us the units moles to the minus two dm six because it's on the bottom. Because it's on the bottom, these numbers become become negative, and also because there's two of them times together, these numbers double. And on the end, there's s to the minus one because that's on the top. So the so the negativeness of this number does not change. 